Hey everybody, HHO for all. Just want to give a quick update on this volcano cell. Um, had a lot of issues with this thing since I put it together. And uh, I'm just putting together this video in case anybody else is trying to do the same thing. Um, these cat food bowls from Walmart, they're horrible. Um, they're all different sizes. Not a single one of them is exactly the same size. What I had to do is I had to go and, and put um, the smallest bowls on the bottom and then gradually go up to the largest bowls on the top. And um, because of the, the different sizes of the bowls, there's uh, different plate gaps. And so somewhere down in the bottom section, the, the bottom half of this cell, I've got a short. So I wasn't able to connect up the positive. Um, it just it kept tripping off my breaker. And uh, so anyway, it, I've got the top portion of the cell running, but I'm really not impressed with it because uh, it's running about 7 amps, and this is all the output that I'm getting. Pretty much garbage. So, uh, you know, not a whole lot coming out of that. It's nothing to brag about. So anyway, looks like I'm going back to the drawing board on this one. What I'll probably do is uh, double up on these gaskets. So I've got a little more space in between, and then hopefully I shouldn't have any shorts. And then uh, and then uh, try it out from there. But um, also, uh, the power supply that I've got right now, uh, it's, it's really weak. It only goes up to, I think it's rated up to 16 amps, but it's a best tech power supply. And in reality, it really only goes up to about 12 before it kicks off. So... I decided I was going to look around, and I actually found a really good deal online. Um, found uh, it's a iMicro. Um, it's a PSUL 400W. I found this online for I think twelve dollars plus. I think it was like four or five dollars shipping and handling. So for less than twenty dollars, I was able to get this. And uh, if I can get it to focus in here. Um, it is on uh, the positive 12 volt section. It is rated at 26 amps. So I'm getting myself a 25 amp breaker, and I'm also going to get myself a 25 amp uh, amp meter. So that way I can create a new power supply. So next video, I'm going to be going through exactly how to convert this PC power supply into a lab power supply. And I'm going to go through the whole process. I'm, I'm going to show everything from uh, unscrewing the plates to get in there and uh, what wires to snip, what wires to, uh, uh, to join together. And uh, anyway, uh, next video I'm, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I'm going to do that. And then maybe you can do that for yourselves. And I'm hoping that will help you out. Anyway, this has been HHO for all. I'm out of here.